वन डबल जीरो टू अमल ज्योति कॉलेज गोड क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन वी परफॉर्म हैवी बैकग्राउंड टास्क विदाउट फ्रीजिंग द एक्टिविटी सो देर इज अ समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अ वाटर लॉक कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू गो टू द डेवलपर एंड्रॉयड वेबसाइट देर इज अ वाटर लॉक कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट इट डज इज इट विल कीप योर एक्टिविटी ऑलवेज ऑन सो इट विल कंज्यूम योर पावर ऑल द टाइम एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट एडवाइजेबल टू यूज इफ इट्स नॉट रिक्वायर्ड to i mean because see if you never freeze your activity if it's see if something is happening at the background and that ne- that is a more prior work than your activity then the whole uh, resources and everything should be given to that background task and not to your activity so it's better you freeze your activity because it's not required and in case you have a need that no you you cannot freeze it it has to go there is a water lock concept available so using which you can keep your activity on all the time irrespective whatever higher priority task comes in the picture wake lock wake lock i'm so sorry it is spell at the wake lock w a k e l o c k wake lock i'm so sorry thanks 1116 sgsit as indore uh thank you for the uh, workshop ma'am and uh, it has been wonderful so far i want to ask uh when i get, when i open my phone android phone there is an option ui control basically where i hold the screen and widgets get open a menu pops up where i find all the widgets can you tell me what that option is what kind of ui control it is uh it may be something uh, you know co- corresponding to yeah the maybe a new version which is there for the jelly bean or something or it may be a device respective so okay i have uh, got answer from my uh, teammates over here that it is a long touch message and uh, i am personally not aware about it so basically see it w- would be a something a very device uh, corresponding function or maybe a android jellybean function that's what some answers i am getting from here but uh, i am not exactly aware about it what you can do is you can just post this query on a moodle and we'll definitely get back to you on this One one seven eight VBTIT Surat. Yeah, my question is: uh, It is possible to make the any humanoid robot with the help of the Android system, who have the features of the artificial intelligence. And if it is possible, then how? And if it is not possible, then why? Okay, so basically, the answer to your question is yes, it is possible. Rather, at uh, IIT Bombay itself. our team have developed an application which controls a robot using akash tablet so definitely it is possible the technology behind is uh, what it does is it connects through a wifi so it has a wi- the on the robot it has a wifi and on tablet we connect to the same wifi and using this uh, wifi transmission we control the robot so so yeah the basically that's a hardware way, uh, uh, behind it it's called as a raspberry pi rather if you can i will encourage all of you to go to youtube and go for the db fatak video of our akash project you will see lots of interesting applications which uh, uh, lot of team have developed at iit bombay for akash tablet you can see what all things are possible so yes the answer to your question is yes it is possible Yeah, my question is: uh, Did your institution will make the robots that, uh, with the help of the Android system, who have and features of artificial intelligence? See, I mean, artificial intelligence has so many applications. One of it is a robo application. Another can be a games. So there are, if you see the Android apps, there are so many games available. Uh, very cool games available. That is also artificial intelligence. there are see artificial intelligence domain has a lots of areas lots of applications so it's not just a robot there are lot of others and yes there are lot of things possible in artificial intelligence using android that's the answer to your question sir 1022 shri sand gajanan maharaj college of engineering go ahead we can hear you hello uh, good afternoon sir i have a question for Uh, to share sir actually uh, you told about web view uh, what when i try to do is i cannot resize it so is there any property which has to be so uh, set so that uh, i can resize the web view 
uh, I guess the question is about the web view, so it should it will be directed to Ajay, not the Tushar. So he will answer your query. So uh, you want to resize your web view, right? So when you drag the web view on a graphical layout, so you can resize by setting the properties. So you have a different different properties over there. So layout width, the layout height. So you can change that properties and uh, your web view widget will resize. That's it. Actually, I have checked a lot of other properties like align parent, align left, align bottom and all. But when I try to resize it, it is not happening. It is becoming uh, the same way as it was. So, so have you have you tried the margin left, margin top attributes? What it does is it. Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, I have uh, checked all the attributes which are available to the right side, all the properties. I changed and uh, I checked all all the major things. Uh, see, I mean, with available with available attributes, it should actually it should be happening. What you can do is you can just zip your example code and just send it to us. We can check our at our end because these attributes have been given to resize the web view. There is no, I mean, the issue would be something regarding the code itself. Yes. I mean, because we have been able to successfully do it. I mean, all UI widgets have some common resizing properties, the margins and uh, uh, lots of others. So those are applicable to all UI widgets. The web view is not anything uh, very special widgets. Rather, I have also shown you the video view. I have resized it using a margin left, margin top, right, bottom properties. So it is possible. Uh, in the morning, you told something about a small button and a text view. So I tried to write the code and then I tried to run that app on the AVD. But it is coming all the time. Unfortunately, it has stopped. So uh, what can be the probable uh, cause for it? So have you checked your logcat error? In your logcat window, you should get some error why it is getting closed. Do you know the where the logcat window is? If you are not sure, go to window menu and go to show view. In, in that, you should get a logcat option. Just uh, make that option available and you should get some error. Because it cannot close with you know unknown reason. Okay ma'am. Uh, thank you. It's 1001 MNIT Bhopal. Okay, my first question is how much memory is required by SQLite database at runtime? At a runtime? You can, you can run on a very low memory exactly. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it is not exactly the specified uh, the low memory. Depends on your uh, data. You can use actually the your SQLite will store uh, not a we cannot use this SQLite to store a many uh, like uh, lakhs or two lakhs of data. We can uh, use to store only uh, not uh, not large amount of data. We cannot store in this small amount of data. We can store only in this SQLite. So uh, it is not specified exactly how much space we required, but this SQLite will run on very low memory. Yeah, sir, uh, maximum uh, maximum size of memory. Depends on your device. If you are, if you have any device like suppose you are talking about Akash, so internal memory, I think so it's two GB, and external memory up to thirty-two GB. So you can run your uh, so two power sixty-four entries is uh, possible in SQLite. Sir, my second question is which types of image format are supported by Android? Whatever your uh, like. Uh, if you are talking about minimum memory required, whatever your device you have in your internal memory, uh, you can run your uh, SQLite in uh, 100 KB also. Depends on your internal device size. Yes, sir. Sir, my second question is which types of image format are supported by Android? So just like JPG, GIF, and all formats are supported by Android? JPG, GIF. PNG is supported, all, all kind of images are supported by uh, Android. So basically on developer website, there is a huge table which displays you what all image types are supported, encoders, decoders which are supported. So you can go to the support media, I mean you, in Google you can just type Android developer support media format and you will get a link to that. 
the whole list is given there. Double one, double four. KCB Technical Academy, Indore. Delvic Virtual Machine convert the Java bytecode in Delvic bytecode. Is there any language whose object code can be converted into Delvic bytecode? So basically, uh, yes, it converts Java bytecode to the Dalvik bytecode. But I mean, the answer to your question is other languages code, yes, can be converted to the .dex file. That's what I had mentioned earlier about the NDK. So you can have your C, C++ code imported and your compiler will actually do it for you using NDK concept. Okay, so answer to your question is yes, it is possible. 1210, Gokta Institute. When to use shared preferences and the uh, and SQL lights uh, for data storage? When to use shared preferences? Okay, uh, uh, when uh, suppose you want to store some data in a structured way, so at that time you can use SQL light. Or suppose you want to uh, store some data uh, temporarily to your in your application, or you want to share your data from uh, one activity to another activity, at that time you can use shared preferences. Thank you so much. Thank you.